Eileen, thank you for joining us. We'd like to start off by asking you what motivated you to get into the oil and gas industry and what keeps you here? Sure, thanks. Um, so what was motivated me was I got a phone call actually from a headhunter um, and it was a different kind of call from uh, that they announced that it was Shell and that Shell was interested in sort of changing the dynamic of their finance um, uh, skill pool. And so I came down a little bit on a whim and I think what motivated me then to join Shell you know, was the brand. Um, you know, it's a mm -hmm. well-regarded global brand, just the size and scope. Uh, and then the role that oil uh, and gas and energy plays in the socioeconomic dynamic of the world, I just find fascinating. I was a political science undergrad, economics uh, minor, and there's just something about the fact that energy is so important to the economic development of so many of the places that Shell operates. And I just found that aspect of, of energy uh, and its role to be just uh, something that's fascinating. And it keeps me here to this day. So mm -hmm. right now we're all talking about energy transition, don't know when it's gonna come, um, but I'm really proud of Shell and the way that we are um, trying to understand what our role is and how to move from being a traditional oil and gas to helping mm -hmm. shape the future. So um, that's what keeps me here. Great, what about a significant career milestone? Maybe that was the moment for you when you got a call, but can you describe anything maybe that's happened yeah. since you've been with Shell? Yeah, so I think uh, for me the biggest career milestone was um, I, uh, I took a job doing cost leadership, which on the surface of it might not sound so exciting, <laughs> um, but it gave me an opportunity to work for an executive vice president and sort of uh, gave me some exposure to uh, really the C-suite in, mm. inside of Shell. And I think that dynamic of working at a sort of a different level of leadership uh, really helped me to kind of understand the way that leaders think, um, helped me shape kind of my views on um, how I could show up as a leader um, and, and just help me understand the decision making process. So sort of that level of access I think was a real, um, uh, propelled me then in terms of the, the next steps of my career. Um, and so that access and exposure is something that I think is really important for people um, in their mid-career to figure out how they get that. What about a challenge or risk that you faced with being a woman in the industry? Is there anything you can share there with us? Yeah, so I think it becomes really apparent to me. I've had the opportunity to travel to all different kinds of parts of the world, Nigeria, Iraq, some really tough pa places. And so while things are not perfect here in terms of gender uh, equality, uh, there are places in the world where it's really bad, and there's places in the world where physical security is is an issue. Mm -hmm. And it's at those moments that I think about how am I showing up. It's at those moments that I think about how do I support women in those environments where it is very different and they're facing you know fundamentally different challenges than I ever had to face being an American woman. Um, and so it's those kinds of things mm -hmm. that uh, really kind of make it pop that there really is, um, there is really a ways to go in the world in terms of uh, just where in the role of women and the role of women in business. Perspective, I'm sure, for you as well. E exactly. What about any advice for younger professionals maybe trying to find their place, yeah. whether it's work-life balance or anything that you can provide? Yeah, no, I mean, I think there's a couple of things that, that tend to come to mind when I'm talking to, to younger men and women, mm -hmm. um, um, because I think it's important, both are important um, constituencies that, um, you know, at the level of organization that I am, that we have to, we have to think about. So I think one of the things I would, I would consider um, and always tell people is, right, doing your job really well is just table stakes. Um, so that's the first piece. You just have to be really good at what you do and you need to continue to build your professional development. I would tell people to think about um, you're building a collection of experiences, so not being focused on the job or job title or job mm -hmm. rank, but what are the experiences you need to be successful. And then I think there's something tricky in the balance between collaborating with people um, but also finding a way to stay um, true to yourself and to, to step out uh, and to, to be noticed. Mm -hmm. I think it's really easy, particularly in a company the size of Shell, that you can kind of just go with the flow. Um, but I think the people who are truly successful at some point kind of have to take a stand for something they believe in. Great advice there. What about mentors? What are your views on the importance of yeah. mentors? Yeah, mentors, um, I think, again, is a, a really important, and I think actually much more important for, for women or people of color. Um, I, as a young professional, I went to a Catalyst event, and um, I never forget the, the woman who said, you know, um, 
leaders tend to gravitate toward people who are like them and that the, the, the challenge over time is that there's more men in positions of leadership. Um, and so the issue is that we just have to kind of get the same access. Well, not all advice is good advice, but that what we're really asking for mm -hmm. is just the same opportunity for getting the bad advice. Um, wow. so, yeah. um, so I just think it's, an, it's important. It's important that there are people there to support you. I think it's important that there are people to um, um, also tell you when you're wrong. Helpful there. Of course, you need to know all of the Correct. information that yeah. can help you. And can you also tell us, uh, you know, being a, included in this dynamic group of women, very deserving for you to be in this honoree yeah. pool. Tell us how you feel about that, but also the importance you see in an, an, a recognition such as this in the industry. Yeah, so, I mean, obviously I'm really honored. Um, I, um, I'm also a little bit humble about it. I mean, I'm, I'm here because of a lot of great people who helped to support me. I'm here because of my teams who have helped to make me successful. I think the importance though for me is back to this role models. Mm -hmm. um, I never really thought about that until I um, started maybe to get into more senior leadership positions and then really recognize uh, the importance of role models mm -hmm. um, and that people um, you know, find it inspirational that they see a path for themselves. And so that really for me is, is what's kind of most, most important about this mm -hmm. is uh, there's 25 people who have very different career paths, all of whom you know, have been successful. Uh, and so I think that for me is kind of the most uh, inspirational piece. And if I'm part of that, well, you know, I'm very grateful for it. Great, well, we really appreciate you sharing your story with us and Thanks. congratulations on this honor, Eileen. Thanks so much, You're appreciate very it. welcome. Great. And for Heart Energy, I'm Jessica Morales.